you notice two people can run into the exact same situation, but they respond completely differently? What's up, my good vibe DJ tribe? Today's Ask Him a question is, how do people keep their cool when everything seems to be falling apart? I don't know how to keep calm, and I know it's not helping my DJ sets. Help. Often, our anger is not really so much about the situation that we're experiencing as much as it is our part in it. And hear me out. While there are definitely things that are out of our control and situations that we definitely don't deserve to have to deal with, sometimes we play a bit of a part in there. And well, here's some examples. So one example that I think of is getting paid for your work. Establishing in the beginning what your required payment is and your payment plan, really important. If you're working with somebody new, maybe you want to make sure that you get the money up front. So when it comes to situations in which you're not getting paid for your work and then you go ahead and work for that person again and then you're surprised that they do it to you again, well, you see where I'm going with this. Or maybe you forgot to require that money up front and now you're super ticked off because they're not paying you, which you have the right to be upset about. However, there's still that part in which, hey, maybe I should have required that payment before I performed the service. Maybe I shouldn't have agreed to do so much work without getting a deposit up front. Another example of this might be you at club DJ and the equipment's not working and it's your equipment or you're borrowing the equipment from somebody. And you start to panic, you start to freak out because, hey, you know what you're doing, you've been doing this for years, so why is it you can't hear what's going on in your headphones? Maybe the reason why is because your headphones aren't plugged in, but you are getting so worked up, you can't even think straight, you can't even think to look and see that your headphones are plugged into your pocket. Or maybe you're having difficulty hearing what's going on your channels because you're queued into the wrong channel. So even though you see all the lights on the Christmas tree, you don't hear anything in your headphones. Or maybe you don't see any volumes going through your mixer. And the reason why is because it's not clicked to the right channel or it's not plugged in. Often we panic in these situations because, hey, we're a performer, we want to look professional and it's hard to look professional if our stuff isn't working. One of the situations that happened to me way back in the day is that I was playing on CDJs, the CDs. I had audio CDs and I had MP3 CDs. And I didn't specify what kind of turntables I needed. So when I went to put that MP3 CD in and it stopped working or the music didn't play at all, I was frustrated and I felt like it was somebody else's fault that my CD was not reading in this player, even though I had never specified what kind of CDJ I needed in order to perform my set. It was on me, but I panicked in the moment and I had a really crappy DJ set because of it. Once I realized what was going on and I only had a few audio CDs, some of them with the music I didn't want to play or were scratched, I was embarrassed. It was kind of my fault and I panicked and I freaked out and I probably looked super unprofessional because of it. And the reason I was panicking is because I wanted to look professional and I did exactly the opposite. Now, with these situations, they're always lesson learning experiences. And what I think that we could really take from these situations is to keep calm, to understand that there are things out of our control. And sometimes all we can do is plan for the worst and hope for the best. So my advice to you, if you find yourself in this situation, is to take a step back, breathe, and maybe even ask for some outside help. Somebody that might be able to realize that you have your headphones plugged into your pocket and then you don't have to panic because somebody else just figured it out for you. Or plan and prep for any possible situation. Even if you do clarify what kind of turntables you need and then you show up and the slip mats are pieces of paper. Maybe you need to bring your own slip mats. Maybe you need to bring your own needles for the records for the turntables because guess what? They, they supply 
the Technique Turn Tables, but oh wait, nobody brought needles because nobody thinks about these things. You're going to think about these things. You're going to make it so much easier to not panic when things go wrong by just preparing for them. And when they happen, breathe, breathe, ask for help, take a moment, take a step back, and then rack those DJ sets. If y'all found this video helpful, then awesome. Maybe you have some additional things that pop up in your head when you think of how to keep calm in these situations. Let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't let no one kill your vibes.